All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Rockets content, so hit that like button, hit that sub button if you guys enjoy it. So the Rockets back-to-back -back losses against the Denver Nuggets, it was not very pretty. But hey, you know, Denver is one of the best teams in the NBA right now. They are very, very hot. And, you know, 5-16 and 16 is the current record for the Houston Rockets. It's not as bad as it seems every night. They're not really getting blown out all that often. They, in fact, they haven't been blown out all that much so far this season. They're usually competitive late in these, until late in these games, until like, you know, either the fourth quarter or the last couple of minutes, which is a great sight to see because it's exactly what we saw in the second half of the season last year. But Lachard Binkley over at thedreamshake.com kind of pointed out some advanced metrics, some advanced statistics that I think really hit home for you know, some of the improvements I want to see from the Houston Rockets. You know, I made a video a couple of weeks ago saying, you know, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's Stephen Silas not, like, being not good enough, but, like, vocal enough about what he expects and what he needs from his players. You know, I understand the Rockets' offense is more tailored toward read and react, and the issue with that is I'm not seeing too much reaction, all right? And it starts in the fast break the Rockets are dead last in fast break points, which is tough because we are by far the youngest team in the NBA. We've got fresh legs. These are very young players, and we only have two veterans on the team, Eric Gordon and Boban. So I want to see us running. I want to see us picking up the pace. Being dead last in fast break points is unexcusable, but you know, you could chalk that up to defense, right? You know, we're not a good defensive team, so we're not going to have too many opportunities in the fast break, right? Well, that makes sense, but pace after rebounds 10.13 a game which is ranked 28th and essentially what that means is you know getting the rebound and pushing the ball on offense we don't have too many good players or good maybe is the wrong word we don't have too many players who's like you know sole skill or you know a high quality skill that they possess is just you know the ability to win on one on one ball or just you know iso ball but <sighs> we're very we're very fast man we're very young we have the ability we have the capability to be fast so if you get the rebound run you know just get the ball follow you know what what do the lakers do they get the ball find the first pass get the ball move down court so that's something i want to see the improvement of is just fast break points and i'm not too worried about that as well and then we have shot selection here we're just not taking great shots corner threes attempted rank 30th uh, is that all the only stat we got here? Yeah, I don't think that stat necessarily drives home my initial point, but the issue with read and react is, you know, KPJ's learning the point guard position. Jalen Green's young. We're just young in general, right? So we have a lot of young guys. You know, they're trying to dissect the defense. The issue I have with this is there's not enough going on everywhere else. So if I'm spending all this time reading what the defense is throwing out to me and I'm not doing anything but dribbling the basketball, the issue is, first off, that's not ideal. That's not good basketball in general. But to add insult to injury, nobody's running around. You know, Nobody's setting picks except for Elper and Shangun or Usman Garuba or Bruno or whoever our, our big man is out there on the court. They're just not moving it around. So we go through spurts. That's the good news is it's not the end of the world. Um, it just is heavy iso ball. A lot of the time it's heavy iso ball and you know, reading defenses, I understand it. You want to take high quality shots, but we're not really playing fast. We're not really reacting too much and we're not taking good quality shots for the most part, you know, and there's some stuff that goes into it. Like I said, KPJ is learning the point guard position. You know, he has yet to have a full season of playing the point guard. You know, Eric Gordon, anytime he gets the basketball, he chucks up a three. Uh, it's just not great winning basketball. Um, I don't think the issue is Steve, Steven Silas. I don't think that the solution is Steven Silas. I think it's just a very complex offense, and, you know, we're just not doing enough of a reaction. So there are games like Atlanta uh, where you do see, and granted, Houston has had a difficult start to the season, one of the most difficult in the entire NBA. But we're over a quarter of the way through, and... You know, I'm curious to see what Stone and management decide to do, and Silas included. Like, I really, you know, and everyone agrees with this point. Uh, I have a hard time trying to find out why Eric Gordon is starting. Um, you know, maybe Jay Sean Tate changes that. Maybe KJ Martin changes that. A lot of us want KJ Martin. Tari Easton, I don't think is 
quite, quite there yet. I think he still needs, and I don't think, I'd go as far to say as I don't think Tardisian starts at any point of this season now, especially if Silas is at the helm. Um, now that there's a huge issue with that, right? We'll see. The good news is Ty Ty Washington Jr. is balling out in the G League. He dropped another 20-pointer today, but, or yesterday. There's a lot to be excited about. You know, Shangun is, is hooping. Uh, Kevin's hooping. You know, Jalen's hooping. It's not necessarily efficient. Like, you know, yesterday, KPJ and Shangun kind of were our offense. It was a tough offense at night in general. Only scored 100 points. Jalen Green struggled, but, you know, the playmaking's improving. We're improving. Um, and we're a very young team, but at the end of the day, you know, I just don't quite think that. I'm, just, I'm not quite sold on, on Silas's offensive plan here. You know, I don't really think it's the personnel. Like I said, I don't think it's Kevin Porter Jr. necessarily. I don't think it's Silas necessarily. I think it's just a, a mix of everything. I don't know if these guys quite know exactly either what to do or what they should be doing. So hopefully we start seeing more consistent games. One of the youngest, the youngest team in the NBA is not even close. So hopefully we see some more consistent games. Uh, as the season progresses but at the end of the day you know this is going to be our last year in the lottery so 5 and 16 I want to see us kind of get back to how we started the season where we're a lot more competitive in these games I mean we just won back-to-back -back games against Atlanta and Orlando we had that win against Dallas that was a nice little spurt there I want to get back to that do want a lottery pick um, it's just like a weird we're in a weird little part of just I guess the roster and, and the team and in, in general where yeah I'd love Vic I'd love Scoot I don't want to put all my cards in home I don't want to completely suffer for the season I kind of would love uh, what we had at the end of last year where we're sprinkling in the wins are sprinkled in but for the most part we're like super competitive all the way until the end of the game we're scoring a bunch of points just the defense isn't quite there yet and we're just not able to get that job done so a lot of inexperience a lot of just inexperienced so hit that like button hit that sub button let me know what you guys are thinking about the houston rockets as of right now and i'll see you guys tomorrow